What a great way to start an episode, honestly. Uh, hello, uh, this is uh, the the Neon Apes. If you if you don't know who we are, then that that that's who we are. So I I, I hope you I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> it's hard to tell, but we got neon strips in the background, so we're like yeah, we're getting there. we just need an ape. We, we are the apes. That's we are like, the apes. Yeah, you know, because like like we're like you know humans. Like a real ape. We're, like, yeah, we could, exactly. We could, dude, what if we just like trained one to use sign language? Trained one of us to do sign language? No, no, like an ape. I and think they tried that, I but think like it can. didn't work out. No, no, no. no. Like they can. can. I know of an ape that knows like eight hundred words in the out, like in the sign language thing. Like you personally know it. Oh, well, no, I remember I like or her. I watching her. a video essay or something about how Coco was like, you know, mistreated, and a lot of the like <laughs> signing home. they just mistranslated when they put her on TV. Oh, oh, You're oh, talking oh, about oh, oh, in like Foster's home uh, for imaginary kids. No, oh. no. I think oh. he's talking about uh, like a real. The, there's oh, a monkey. You, oh, I, something like yeah, yeah. It's, called Coco. You want to know? What, so okay, here's how we're gonna segue this. So other people that are abused are, are like animals in a zoo, right? And mm. there's elephants mm. in a zoo. So oh. to address the elephant in, in the, the room. room, aha! See what I did there? Elephants can uh, also have depression too. They're, yeah, the elephants they're, they're, they're are very go. like that was, that was they clear. feel emotions. That that's how we. Uh, yeah, that's that's so that that's what we're saying. But room. as you guys probably know, uh, our boy Matthew isn't here, unfortunately, uh, and um, he's gonna be taking an indefinite uh, break, probably from the podcast. Uh, which uh, you know we've been. I think we've filmed like fifty five episodes. It's been like two or three years since you know it first got started. Um, and uh, you know he's just been dealing with some you know mental health stuff, and he's getting some help uh, that he uh, you know that he could use and need, and you know definitely think he's gonna uh, get better. But he may he may not be here for um, ever, <laughs> or maybe you know maybe he comes back in some uh, shape or fashion, and so you're just gonna have to deal with the three of us, uh, you know. So uh, that that's that. But we decided that we've had a lot of I guess silly episodes and fun episodes, and I think we always do a good job of doing a mix of like kind of being serious but like you know just like keeping it light as well but uh, we, we want to kind of just talk about like mental health a little bit here um because mental health is a thing and i think like a lot of times people will like very specific types of people like on the internet like acting like that it doesn't real or like you know it's just like oh special snowflake stuff and people but, yeah. in real life that you know yeah. have met on account of uh living yeah. in Texas, mm -hmm. yeah, people, Texas. people here in Texas, uh, good old Texas, home of the homophobes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's there's a lot of lot of lot of wrong stuff about good old Texas here. God, don't um, even get me started on abortion. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. No, but, <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, this is, is a whole other. That's a great way to you know start it. Uh, and there's uh, that's, uh, that's that's a that's a lot. Good uh, good old te good old Texas. Uh, man, I'm already now thinking about like now the Republicans are trying to like do a federal law of like when you, we can ban abortions. Like, wait, I thought this was about state rights, mm -hmm. but now we're like, okay, but we're, that's not what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. That's not what we're talking about. So um, we're talking about mental health. And I think like all of us, you know, have had, you know, uh, our own journeys, you know, some more than others and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm sure everyone watching or listening or, you know, stuff like that uh, is, uh, you know, everyone, everyone's gone through it a lot. And I think like, there's a lot of stigma and I think a lot less, I think like our generation and like younger generations, like people, I feel like that's an old people thing. That's mm -hmm. like a boomer thing. Absolutely. Yeah. No, like overwhelmingly. I mean, there's still obviously like call them many boomers. Like there's still, I don't know. So like there's still some people our age who just think like boomers. Dude, um, there are, there's, and, it's so weird talking but, to them. Yeah. Cause I don't know. They have this stigma too, but like, yeah, no, you notice it a lot in, in kind of younger populations too. just the understanding. Oh yeah. Um, which I think is just the key point, you know, like it's just all about understanding and perspective. Yeah, um, exactly. And man, I like there's a lot of different play. Like I know we we were talking beforehand. There's a there's a YouTube. I don't know if you saw the YouTube. If Matthew Matthew likes showing us video essays a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so he's yeah. uh, showed probably all of us a video essay on um Mun Munchies mm, Munchauser syndrome Munchauser syndrome and Munchausers Munchausers by proxy too. Y yeah, that stuff's yeah that's crazy. Mm. And yeah, so I guess like long story short, what it is is I guess the normal Munchausers is like what if you were like you pretended you were sick to get attention or something 
And then Munchauser by proxy is where you like, hey, if you have a kid and like you just act as if like you purposely like yeah. poison them to make them like pretend like they went like a cardiac arrest or something. And then you bring them to the hospital and get all the attention. And there's a lot of controversy because, uh, you know, it's really um, hard to pinpoint. Like there's not like, yeah, I don't know. And it's like, is that an excuse for doing it? Because it was being brought up in legal cases and, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, you know. Uh, yeah, dude, mental health and the law is something really like, dude, it really like it kind of fucking blows in a sense, like just committing people against their will. Like in a sense, some have to. But also there is an abuse of power that happens, like I'm sure a lot. You know? Oh, you're talking about like, like um, mental. Yeah, uh, you know, like specifically back in the day, you know, like our, I guess like the boomer generation, you see it all the time in like movies or whatever. But an overbearing, you know, husband like fucking Bojack Horseman, um, the what's his his mom, his grandmother. Mm-hmm. Do you guys remember that? I, I might not have seen that part, but like you can talk about it. Okay, I was gonna say I don't want to spoil it. Sorry, spoilers. Uh, he, but anyway, <laughs> um, I think it's his great grandmother's. Like, just like wants, like I don't know, starts wanting to like do things, like you know, like outside of the marriage. And the husband's like, oh, she's got the willies. And he, long story short, she gives he gives her an ice pick lobotomy. Oh, um, I was okay. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna bring that up. I was gonna be like, yeah, mental health back in the day was let's like stab your brain yeah and cut out random parts of the brain and we don't understand it all or lock it up in a mental asylum yeah dude they they used to think that uh what did it they they diagnosed women with hysteria or something yeah and i think isn't that why the 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 vibrator was made Um, i think the vibrator the the the, i I think i've like heard that somewhere let me let me do some fact checking because we do fact checking on this fucking show this is an information Um, (laughs) podcast why was vibrator (laughs) invented here we go here we go for hysteria okay you can you can start talking and i'll I'll do my education i got a i got a small thing like i don't know why it popped in my brain something about a vibrator and halloween but um (laughs) anyway so the story behind witches and broomsticks is so like back in the day witches would dip their broomsticks in like like mushrooms that they found yeah, in the forest. Psychedelics. psychedelics, you know? So they dip them in the you know, the concoction that they made and then they would rub them between, you know, their their um their their, their down theirs and uh, you know, trip and fly to the moon. Um so small little tidbit because Halloween's coming up. Yeah, exactly. Also, I did fact check it, and uh, yeah, the prescri- I'm gonna just I'm gonna read this from Scientific oh American. Okay, uh, so legitimate. so uh, the words coming out of my mouth, oh, I'm not saying this is saying the prescription of clitoral orgasm as a treatment for hysteria <laughs> dates to medical texts from the first century A.D. Hysterical women typically turned to doctors who cured them with their hands by inducing paroxysm, a term that hides what we know as a sexual so climax. They just jacked him off. Yeah, oh and then God. they eventually their hands were getting tired, and they're like, "I vibrate. vibrators." Oh my so, God! So yeah, that's uh wow. You know, if you enjoy those, uh, you got uh, you got wow. a shitty mental health or a perception of mental health. You know, I feel like at some point, somewhere bound, that, someone was bound to make the vibrator though. Like, yeah, yeah, someone would have figured out. You know, that's and, uh, just where it you know came about. Which I guess like. I don't know what like because they were probably just labeling everything as hysteria right like because I'm sure like yeah like if you were just like kind of down in the dumps and some doctor fucking jacked you off I mean like shit I don't know maybe that does put you in a better mood but I don't like, know how but, are the husbands okay with this because I thought they were like you know the stereotype is they're super protective and you know I like, think that's what like the fancy word was for oh so hysteria yeah and then they, not they were hysteria, saying, the what was it for um yeah, it said uh, paroxysm. Pay P A R O X Y S M. So yeah, they were probably like, oh well, if a doctor gives, <laughs> the doctor gives them paroxysm. It, by it's cool. digits. You can yeah, you can get cooked <laughs> by a, do- a guy. You know, honestly, for medical purposes. Not gonna lie, they were kind of onto something though. Like the release of dopamine. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. if you were down in the dumps and someone was like, "I'll jack you <laughs> off," like shit. <laughs> uh, but you know, imagine, uh, dude, imagine how that like that could never fly in today's times. Are you kidding me? Like, dude, what if that was like the loophole for how like prostitution was still legal or like yo. was legal? Because like I think it should be, and I mean that's just like a separate. Wait, you might be on or something. Wait, no, you need a license. Like, um, you probably need a doctorate to like, 
you know, prescribe. perform orgasms yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. And I would say your average prostitute <laughs> does not have a doctorate. And then there's going to be like a new branch of like incels where they're like, oh, well, I can't get an or- a woman to orgasm because I'm not a fucking doctor. <laughs> Who are you to expect me like of that of me? Like, oh, you tell me I have to go to school for six minimum years? Yeah. Like for real. So, yeah. I mean, that's a that's a, that's a mental health fun fact. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. We didn't. We, we, we pretty much just like honestly have been uh you know dealing with um you know some some personal situations you know on our own and so i think it's kind of just been on uh you know all of our minds and stuff like that you know so it's like one of those things where we kind of just wanted to you know talk about it and stuff like that and um do it while it's fresh exactly we were gonna be like oh let's let's just like delay the podcast another (laughs) another week but like uh we've probably done that a lot <laughs> y'all you we, this is supposed to be like a uh you know in every other no, no, don't episode don't don't don't, don't. <laughs> every other week. they'll expect so much more <laughs> they'll expect so much more yeah that's such a good point yeah this is this podcast is once a year and yeah. if you get anything better than that you are blessed you are blessed <laughs> yeah you need to be thanking us i think we um, need to step up the production quality for doing yearlies oh yeah we need to have like pyrotechnics idea, and yeah no, it is a good idea though like once a year we could like you know like do, do some, some like crazy yeah. shit or something yeah, for a do podcast something crazy we've done i i know we, we've done some bits recently that i like i really liked like one of the times when it was only me and matthew we did the whole episode blindfolded and so like i didn't mm. even know if i started the recording correctly <laughs> like so we were just like i was paranoid like i was like i just gotta get past that i was like i swear th- and we didn't know how long you went we, for? we were going so we ended up like going for i think like an hour or something Jesus. like that because we just i don't know this fun yeah we also uh we interrogated you or antagonized yeah. you with the uh the the doll yeah, yeah. Um and uh, reverse card. Hmm. That yeah. Yeah, yeah. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because yeah, you were yeah. trying to hide it and stuff or you know, hide it uh, in Matthew's Matthew's bathroom. Um yeah, that there was that was, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for for good bits because we are uh being we're not, being creative yeah, is, is a I mean we're professionals because we're doing hard. it, but like, you know, we're not pro professionals. Yeah, we are the most professional podcasters on the planet. Honestly, I think our production quality outshines Joe Rogan. Yeah. Uh and, and he uh, smokes weed. <laughs> just the like, freaking Cuban cigar. That's we need to bring in Cuban cigars. We need to uh No, I don't you know, think uh, I don't think Caitlin would like that. Yeah, that would, that would be, make this apartment smell so bad. They would probably kick you out for that. Like oh, the I'm weed sure. they can tolerate, but those goddamn cigars. Oh. Yeah, cigars are Cigars are uh, kind of nasty smell. I'm not really a fan of cigars. I never was, to be honest with you. I feel like they just gave me, I mean, all smoking kind of gives you cancer, but <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't it know wasn't yet. fun, fun mm-hmm. cancer to get like your mm-hmm. baby vapes. I think you, yeah. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's called an elf bar. Okay. It's a whimsical device pure filled with nicotine. It's a chemical that is very bad for you. So that was a, that was a, that was a callback to, to last episode. Uh, true, true, true neon apes. F- fans it's not important long story short they just gave me shit for having a cute little vape <laughs> you shouldn't be addicted to nicotine yes sir dan says as he's addicted to nicotine dude i gotta i gotta tell you all okay mental health addiction there we go yeah bada bing bada boom <laughs> oh my god the transition <laughs> of a lifetime <laughs> freaking just earlier today we're uh, three of us are in a car going on a, going on in a journey and uh <sighs> Dead, like pe- people have tried um, in my perspective because I've never touched nicotine I guess this is something that could have been talked about last episode but uh, or we probably did a little bit because that last episode was crazy um, but uh, yeah people will quit and then uh, then 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 like you know it's like obviously like that's probably every addiction like if you're an alcoholic and everyone's drinking around you I know Dylan it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be really hard you know yeah. um, and uh, but yeah so no, well, okay I mean that is a good point though like I don't know the nicotine addiction. So like Daniel recently quit up to like what like a month he got about uh, and then and then after some stressful events in his life has you know kind of used it as a crutch a little bit. Which I've been there. We've all been there. People who nicotine out. Uh, but in the car has died and he asked me for mine. I don't want to give it to him at first. I want to be fiending you know his addiction right. Like especially because he's trying to quit. And I don't know. It's just like addiction is. I'm not a, trying to quit right now, which is why I asked you then. But like you, you were. But you are trying, trying to quit, to quit like until in you fall down, I and agree, then you're no longer trying to quit. And I will get rid of this soon. But 
in that particular moment, mine was dead, and I was experiencing withdrawals and Which wanted it. I did cave because I understand withdrawals. I can't like have a man in pain. <laughs> so, <laughs> see, that's what I keep trying to, t- and I think both of you guys understand it. Um, but like, obviously, it's an addiction. But like, sometimes they'll these freaking nerds. I'm gonna move the mic close to you. Um, oh to Dan um one of the uh like they get you guys get stressed and then you guys oh, are yeah, like absolutely. oh I need nicotine because mm-hmm. of stress but like the nicotine addiction is like hijacking yeah. the stress part yeah. of your brain and making you feel extra stressed no absolutely um it's a and, vicious uh, thing dude you were on it like so Holden was saying earlier in the car it was a really good point slightly off topic but jewel like honestly like if they made like like nicotine they had to all be jewel flavors like i wouldn't i wouldn't vape those things are yeah disgusting. i honestly think every every company should have to have the it's the like, three flavors of, it's really sad because like these flavors are like highly addictive to kids oh yeah that's what like, happened dan took a, a, a little puff puff of yeah. your vape and was like oh this is a yeah. good flavor <laughs> like fuck no it shouldn't be that's it should taste like it maggots and sewage like <laughs> You want your nicotine? Do do it the manly way. Get some sewage up your ass. That's how I quit cigarettes. Is (laughs) because wait, whoa! I did not quit cigarettes with sewage up my ass. I quit it with acid. But anyway, I was uh, I was just chiefing on one, and just like mid trip, and I was like, man, this is like fucking disgusting. Like no, and I never again. Makes me nauseous now. To cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. So tricked my brain, man. Yeah. And that, that's the problem with, um, with mental health is we have some people, you know, that, that we know in our lives that, you know, they're dealing with like a lot of like mental health issues and stuff like that. And a very, (laughs) we're trying to like, be like, don't do nicotine, like be good kids. And you go over here. Well, yeah, no, but we're fucking bad examples. Okay. We We are bad examples. You know, we can be bad examples. We don't have to be. Don't do anything I do. Boom. I'm good. Yeah. But but like you make it look so cool though. It's not. It's just an O. But they're like smokos. Like. Yeah. I mean like wizards. I know. Some people think wizards are cool. Some people think they're weird. Who thinks wizards are fucking weird? Bro. If I showed up in a wizard costume, you would think I'm a little sus. Dude, that's to, hard. To, uh, b- that's pretty cool. That's hard to do. <laughs> See? Some people think they're cool, but some people would think they're sus. But are you just red in a wizard suit or a wizard red? I'm the red wizard. See, that's dope. And anyone thinks that's not dope if you're actually a wizard, you just like, I don't know. Blow O's at him. <laughs> Bada Bagava Kedavra. Is that, is that the Harry Potter? It's Abracadabra. I thought it was a vodka. <laughs> wait, no. It, wait. Is a, it is a vodka cadaver. Oh, okay. I was, I was gaslighting you. <laughs> Mental health. <laughs> What that was so good. That was so good. But yeah, like I don't know. Sometimes when people have mental health, you know, they turn to substances, and and substances can be a pretty good like band aid for mental health. But like they should not be the the solution. Yeah. Um, you know, unless it's like uh, I don't know, like actual medicine, like something like you know, like anxiety medicine, or you know, I mean, I guess like everything can be medicine in their own. It's like depends on yeah, how you like say, take it. Because the tricky, like the tricky thing is there, like you know, some things are drugs and some things are medicine. You know, but like the fine line between them, like I like recreational cannabis versus medicinal. You know, mm, like yeah, I just I just kind of pretend I need it medicinally, but like you know, like <laughs> like I, you know, like that's how I'm. But you're right about being a band aid. It's just more like a crutch, you know, band aid or a crutch to get through the day. Yeah, and like ultimately, it's like okay, whatever gets you through your life, right? Yeah. Like you should you should be proud to just, like living is a like, fucking exhausting, honestly. Like I remember like when I was a kid, and I was always like, oh, you know, kind of scared of dying, and I was like, oh man, like you know, that's so. But now that I'm like in my like in, like people yeah. that are older than us are gonna like roll their eyes in the back of their fucking skull, but like you know, just like occasionally having back pain or stuff like yeah. that, I'm gonna be like. Dude, when I'm 80, I'm gonna be like fucking like I'm ready to get out of here. Yeah. Like, let me like you know what I've I mean. I've lived my life. I'm out. Yeah. So like I don't know. Like dealing with like the everydays of like just existing in capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> just literally. existing in general is very exhausting. And so whatever you can do, like don't ever feel bad for like sometimes having to rely on it. I think you just need. It's good to know like. And I would say if it's an addiction, I was going to say, I would, it definitely depends on the substance too. You should not use heroin to rely like yeah. on, on your stressful job, you know? Yeah. Don't do. And but you know, like, yeah. Like, and I guess like same thing with, um, that's why I think it's such a, a weird kind of gray area with weed. Cause it's like some people define it as like medicine and some people define it as a drug, but essentially it's the same thing. It's just different perspective. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. It's like how you use it. I um, guess. Cause like, yeah, like caffeine is a drug. Yeah. It's you how know? you use it. That's a good, yeah. It's a good way to put that. And so, I mean, like you have like both the like, oh, is it like a socially acceptable thing, you know, um, or is it just a, 
you know, like an individual. Dude, it is kind of fucked how like people with mental health issues turn to substances because mental health issues fucking suck and substances like, you know, help immediately with that. Mm-hmm. And that's just what people are going to be drawn to. Like, that's inevitable. Yeah, well, they also... like, there's such a heavy stigma about it that it ends up pushing them, like, further away from society oh, and, like, yeah. people who can help them or want to help them. Well, mm-hmm. they also prescribe substances for, you know, like, to, like, treat this stuff, like, you know, like, through, like, you know, like, antidepressants and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, like, SSRIs like, you know, or... Um, so, like, it's weird because it's, like, like I said, that perspective of drugs, like, people with mental health issues, it kind of get blurred. You know? Well, yeah, and plus, like, you have all this research being done on... Um, uh, you know, f- uh, there's been research on like mushrooms for a while about like, you know, long term depression, you know, curing. But I think they just <laughs> recently did a um, uh, a single study. Um, but it's, you know, seems to be an important study about like ketamine, mm-hmm. like people that have like been depressed, like and so bad depression where like it's drug resistant depression. So they've already tried all the stereotypical like you know drugs you would throw at someone just fuck it you know just giving them ketamine and then they like you know um like a lot of them like just permanently felt like better which i guess like <laughs> same thing with molly too yeah like there's there's a lot of research being done you know with a lot of stuff so mushrooms um yeah so who would have thought that the you know all these drugs that everyone said are bad you know in the right like way in the right usage like yeah can be good and like it's it's definitely like something that's got to like change over time but just like you know overall people's view on mental health right like yeah. like we were talking about like you know they they were just lobotomizing people and throwing people in like you know like mental hospitals back in the day or Ooh. were not good places uh to 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 be so American horror story made a whole season out of it for a reason the shits are spooky as fuck I don't which would see I I mean I never saw any uh, of them but which I think one was season that? 2 mm. um but yeah like even like like footage of people like you know exploring like the abandoned like the sane asylums like freaking disturbing oh yeah the, yeah this is that's like a great like horror um like not trope but setting i guess yeah. like yeah or just like um yeah i guess like that's just that's a, such a good thing but like now it's funny like if you look at like any mental hospital like on like go- like google reviews they're always like you know two point because like you do hear like we've had f- several friends come in and out of mental uh hospitals and uh it seems like they are a terrible place to be, mm-hmm. but like also the only place you should be in certain situations in your life. Like if you are literally like going insane and like, you know, or like, f- first of all, obviously if like there's like harm, like either self, like risk of self harm or uh, harming others, like, yeah, you need, you should, you yeah. should be in there uh, at least for a little bit until you figure stuff out. Uh, it's almost like soft prison, but with cookies and cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know about cookies and cupcakes at all of them. I mean, it like really Allegedly probably varies from place to place. Yeah. Yeah. It probably just very much depends. And so it almost is like, uh, dude, you know, like the mental health institutions are almost the same, like in a sense, like as like, uh, old people's homes. And when you think about it, cause like a lot of old people are like, just like, you know, their faculties are going yeah. down. So when it's just like, we have these people, we don't know what to do with them. Yeah. Like, like, especially like at like really bad cases of like, you know, extreme like mental health issues where it's like they can't function in society like at all. It's like, what do you what do you do with them? Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, and like you try to help them, you know, and like that's that's what's so sad is like, dude, we could solve like every problem in America if we just like took away money from the (laughs) military. Yeah. Like, dude, (laughs) what are we at? Like 20 something trillion or something like it's like crazy fucking numbers yeah and it's like we can still have the biggest military in the world like we, like we literally have like a bigger military than like i think like the next like 20 or 30 militaries combined yeah dude speaking of the army like that's like that's one area that, or not the army the military in general like mental health is such a huge fucking issue like i mean especially all these soldiers with ptsd and shit like that oh and then the government just kind of is like eh. we don't do anything for them yeah, yeah like it's kind of infuriating seeing like i don't know ads or political posturing where they're like yeah oh we care about ptsd and then you know vets actually need help no nah, dude you want to know nothing happens the one that triggers me the most is the uh the one where they like are like choose your class like you know be a marine fighter <laughs> oh, that like, was a real advertisement i, dude, I yeah, saw I, that I, they had class triggers me. choice like, they're trying to they want to get the gamer specialist. generation like yeah shut no nah, uh uh-uh. that's like that's 
That's propaganda. Like, yeah. Come well, get like, traumatized for the rest of your life by the government. But we'll you will you, kill people. Like, probably. Not even a lot of money. Like, a, a, a livable wage, like, barely. If you want to live in, like, a school bus, you could probably do that. And uh, we'll educate you. Yeah. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. Also, someone said uh, $778 billion was the budget for 2022 for the for the military. I might have been an absurd off amount of money. By a little bit. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. Once you're at that amount <laughs> yeah. of money, it doesn't like matter. Like That's yeah. an absurd amount of money. But I guess like when you're talking about governments. But I mean, freaking, that's like what Rambo do. Rambo is literally about like mental health, obviously. Like ran, the story of Rambo is like that old you know movie is like there's a vet like from Vietnam or whatever, mm-hmm. I think. And like everyone's like, I think he's like arrested and the police are like fucking with him and all the people, because especially like Vietnam uh, war veterans, because no one wanted to be in Vietnam. Like the U.S. did yeah. not want to be at war with Vietnam, I think. And um, well, because it was a draft too. like you were just making people yeah. go die. And then like everyone hated you when you got back because we didn't want to be in Vietnam. So you're like, killing kids. Fuck like, the vets. Yeah. Like and I'm sure like they did horrible, horrible things. And it's obviously you know the whole discussion of whose fault is it actually. But dude, wait, speaking of that right quick, I met a dude whose dad, he actually I work with him. Um, his dad just passed away and like I found out like a week later is because like he got gassed like in Vietnam by Agent Orange and like the cancer finally caught up with him. Like people are still dying Dang. to this day because of that shit. Jeez. I mean, you had that what wasn't there like um well, just recently, I can't remember the the main guy that was, I think he's like an actor or something, but he was like championing it. But there was like apparently like back in some, I, when we went to Iraq or Afghanistan or something, we were just burning trash in like a giant trash pile. Oh my like, God. To yeah, dispose of the right. trash. And so the people, everyone just got like sick. Yeah. Like, like they're coming home and their benefits expired and all the pol- politicians were just like, yeah, fuck you. And like pe- they had to fight tooth and nail. There were like huge protests, and then like you know, finally good positive news. You know, so they, they, you know, passed it before they went on recess or whatever. But it's like, why do we have to like? Yeah, that would be the best propaganda. Like go- the U.S. government loves propaganda. You want to know what would be good propaganda? Giving, taking care yeah. of your vets. Yeah. Like Jesus Christ. Like uh, people may be more interested in joining the military if they know you gonna fucking hook them up. When you know, like imagine how tempting or, it would be. Or if you don't, tempting. like, just promise less. Like, don't make it such a joke, you know? Don't act like you care about us. Yeah, exactly. Just tell us, like, dude, we're going to, like, spit down your throat and then, like, kill you yeah. after we make you kill people. But we'll give you, like, 50000 Does that sound good? We'll pay for your college. <laughs> dude, college is so expensive. So the only way to pay for your college nowadays is to kill, like, a family of four in, like, a third world country. Yep. That's welcome, the, welcome that's, to the U.S. That's, that's the, the new meta. Woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, freaking, man. But um, man, that's that's another thing is you have mental health of like, you know, students. I mean, people that are getting putting themselves in crippling debt because of the price of, uh, you know, to just the mental health aspect of fucking existing currently when I don't know, like there's everything is so expensive. It's so expensive to get a job that makes money and, you know, even just existing is incredibly expensive right now. Like existing. Yeah money is expensive right now fuck dude like I, we say that a lot but like for real i mean i don't know i don't know i know like people were saying we're going to a recession or something it, but see the thing about a recession is like if everyone just starts joining in the bandwagon and declaring a recession then yeah, yeah we're yeah, gonna we have a recession. a recession yeah so like just you know keep norming doing what you normally do maybe try and squirrel away some extra money but keep doing what you do yeah exactly and Man. Oh, also, yeah, the freaking homeless people. I mean, that's a whole nother. I mean, you know, like, I, I guess like we're just like talking about literally like everything. Yeah, dude. Mental health that's is wrong. now everywhere. Like, like, cause yeah, like mental health is like a, a human problem yeah. and like humans. Because we don't have like the answers for it. Yeah. And man, there's also like that whole controversy about uh, like better help and stuff like that. Like those online, um, you know, like therapy um, programs. Because, yeah. like, sometimes, like, I guess, like, there's been probably a couple instances where someone, like, doesn't good, like, you know, maybe someone squeaks past that, like, isn't actually qualified or something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, um, give someone, like, bad, like, advice or something like that? Or, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, just doing things that, like, a qualified person may not. I don't know. I, I, I need to do more research. And I've never yeah. actually had uh, experience with, uh, I think like I went to actual therapy when I was a kid because my parents like thought I was a shit kid, which I was. But yeah. um, we all were. We all were. Kids are pretty yeah. shit. Kids are. 
Kids are literally, I think we've, ugh, dude, we're just like, this episode is just us talking about things we've already talked about apparently, but uh, yeah. freaking something that we always talk about is like kids are, kids are, uh, was it like psychopaths or sociopaths or whatever? You just got to like hope that they like grow out of it, you know? Because it's yeah. like, they just like don't understand like their, their real world, like, I don't know, consequences and actions. Like you, that's things that, you know, that's something you get from like experience and just by living. So yeah. you got to grow up. So many mental health problems are linked to just things in childhood development getting fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Or like... <laughs> fucking parents <laughs> yeah dude mm-hmm. freaking uh speaking of you know all the video essays matthew <laughs> shows us uh he we went through a period where he was showing us um like serial killer iceberg videos by um this uh, awesome youtuber named wendigoon um and uh pretty much like you know every single freaking serial killer like 90 percent of them had like a terrible like upbringing or something like that you know and like they had like abusive parents that like you know freaking uh, <laughs> Or we, or we, uh, we, we. We're just getting cozy. Getting, uh, getting cozy. Uh, what were you saying? Okay. What were you saying? Okay. Okay. Goon, um, I just. Uh, I'm just getting comfortable. Yeah. Just getting comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Here, here. We'll get. Okay. Yeah. We'll get comfortable yeah. here. Yeah. 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 We'll get comfortable. Yeah. No, okay. Okay. Cool. I actually like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For those of you guys on audio platforms, suck it. No. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Here. Uh, we're just we're just getting comfy here. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, we we tried to turn the fan off here um, because the fan surprisingly makes a lot of noise. Dude, yeah, and I'm I'm baking. I'm I mean, baking a I'm little not bit here. That hot? Like, I mean, you are <laughs> very hot. <laughs> I can feel you because you're on top of me. <laughs> Dude, people listening to this shit right now are like, okay, what the fuck Ryan, is Ryan is providing audio content. He's providing audio content. Um, oh, this is actually like, okay, oh. wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I just need to like, okay, okay. There's like a, there's like a, a hard piece of metal in my shoulder blade. <laughs> It's a hard piece of metal. So right? mental health, right, guys? Yeah. What were uh, we talking about? Oh, wait. Like, this is how we link mental health to, like, like dopamine release. Like, uh, you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, like, naturalism, like, uh, a lot of mental health problems being, so here, I don't I'll know, not this. getting enough of, like, certain chemicals. Like, if you work 12 hours a day, you're probably going to get depressed because you just have no time that it you is, enjoy being, Yeah. like... Especially if you work in like a dark like place, like a, like dude, fucking working at Red Lobster. God damn it! Uh, Ugh, they kept the windows place. down in that place, so he was like just walking into a dungeon. Uh, you murdered lobsters on the daily, like dude. That's pretty oh brutal. my gosh, you had to pick them out, pick yeah, them up just live them. out like, of the right, tank. Dude, right? I'm sorry, but like a family's gonna tip me well because of you. Like oh fuck, man. Like didn't you like say that. like you the first time yeah. that you did it, you looked I at it. I made myself. I made myself watch and. It stuck with me to the dude. It just like, uh, it like shrivels up. Like they, it's quick, so they don't feel anything. But I guess their like brain is on the back, so they just like stab them through the back. And then like as it's doing that, it exposes its guts, so they just like fucking cut it open and rip it out. And it's dead on the spot, but the thing's still moving, watching its own guts. Like oh my yeah, god, no, it's See, pretty, pretty brutal. Well, doesn't it like die when it? When it's brain I mean, gets like, like, well, humans yeah, probably, have an eight humans second have delay. Like an influx. Yeah, yeah, like they're like it's just You're, muscle. Yeah, like you're yeah, not, but you're that's not, alive, not consciousness. Obviously. That's yeah, yeah, not yeah. like experiencing that. Right. That's but just like, like your the delayed is. twitches of the last neurons like firing. Yeah, but I'm sure the eyes are still seeing its guts like, you know. Not yeah, but like where is that? That being info's sent? not going anywhere. Yeah, but it's still happening. You're right. Yeah, but nothing experiences that. Just like the signal gets sent from the eyes to, I guess, wherever but I'm that watching stem it experience ends. that. Well, you're perceiving when 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 it's when it's going like you know when you're saying it's like going like, ah, like stretching like uh-huh. doing that thing it, it's not do, like it's not doing that as like if we were do, like I don't know how to explain yeah. it but that's just it's like muscle. no it's semantics I know um, but it's still brutal to fuck like that that's mute point but that's and that's always like the whole thing like every time like you know like I'm eating like a, a sausage egg and cheese like you know on an English muffin from Dunkin Donuts and I'm like we just made up all of these words to make ourselves feel better about like eating animals mm-hmm. like if, if we had to say like every time like yeah could I have a uh, you know a cow of egg and ass. cheese <laughs> yeah like or, you know, like that Maybe would uh, two slices of that pork ass on a fucking sheet of cow molded milk yeah and uh, some wheat that I found in the yard <laughs> like 
it's 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 interesting. No, it is actually. That's like psycho. Like I don't know. It's like manipulation because I feel like McDonald's like. Wasn't McDonald's one of the first, like, biggest fast food chains? Like, obviously, they're one of the most, like, well-known now. I mean, I'm sure McDonald's has done some fucked up shit. Oh, yeah, no, but, like, the point specifically, I was, like, you know, they call it, like, a sausage egg McMuffin or, like, McNuggets, you know? Like... Like you said, these keywords. Yeah, like oh yeah, yeah, like or like the McGriddle, you know, like like specific names for them. Yeah, yeah like you said. See, I wonder like what the term. Okay, okay, okay. We're we're doing we're doing research here again, bringing mm-hmm. out the good old phone. Okay, we're gonna. All right, ooh. what are you researching? We're gonna um, have something to talk about while you're looking. When stuff was up. the name Last sausage time. created? Okay, that did not Eggs, work at all. Bacon grits. Okay, I think that's like a German word. The sausage. sausage. Oh, so we can blame the Germans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can drink for Germans. a lot. Oh man, freaking! But yeah, no, I mean that's literally everything. Yeah, like I didn't even think about beyond. Yeah, the terms of like sausage, ham. Yeah, all of the like the, the corporal, Yeah, the corporate McNuggets. branding of it. Yeah. Like, did you guys know uh, Chick Fil A is gonna start selling burgers? What? No. Yeah, oh, and some no of the Chick Fil A uh, test test kitchens. No uh, way. Oh my gosh, what are they gonna do with their marketing? Uh, say they hate gay people. <laughs> They'll buy her burgers. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be pretty effective so far. Yeah. I mean, God damn, Dude, it's I some like, pretty good homophobic chicken. No, I like, personally, the only time I like have sh- I gone to Chick-fil-A recently was because I got handed a gift card for it. Chick- but Chick-fil-A's even then, I don't spend it. No, I don't care. I don't care. Fuck God's chicken. I'll go to Canes. Fuck God's chicken. Yeah, no, Canes is okay. way better. Yeah, but what if I guarantee you? Okay, okay, okay. We're doing some. We're doing some. Okay. Plus, also, they're closed like one. Fuck off. Chick-fil-A closing one day out of the week. Like. Go fuck yourself. I want to see such a bitch move. <laughs> <laughs> no oh. day arrests. Okay. Um, so raising canes has contributed two hundred thousand dollars in political. Uh, okay, nine ninety thousand dollars to the National Republic Congressional Committee. Seventy thousand to the Democratic or DNC Services Corps. Five thousand to Bernie Sanders. Uh, two thousand to Joe Biden. Wait, Chick Fil A or Canes? John Kennedy, Canes. Oh, see. So they're just, but they're donating to both Democrats and Republicans. Everyone does. So that maybe they're just money. like, hey, here's some money. Remember us if you win. Dang, maybe if they had donated Bernie Sanders some more money, they would have. They uh, only gave him five thousand. Like, come on. Yeah, dude, five thousand two hundred and eighteen. Dude, they gave they gave a uh, who dat pack ten thousand. Dude, it's crazy. You can just look this pack? shit up, like. OpenSecrets.org, man. That's crazy. Canes, you should give our boy Bernie more money. Yeah, honestly. Bernie yeah, deserves I, it. I still love, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, in spirit, Bernie Sanders is the producer of this podcast. Because mm-hmm. we got a, um, my sister, for my one of my presents at some point, got me a, a poster of him at like a DJ board. It's funny. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna plug my Insta right here because I posted a picture a earlier. Uh, it's up on my Instagram. It's rtk.redtheking. So if you want to see what it looks like, go look at it. It's there you story. go. There you go. There you go. Dude, freaking. Okay. Another segue. Social media mm-hmm. and mental health. Because like especially for uh, we always talk about like, you know, um, the Internet and stuff. And I think we we grew up. In a, in a pretty good phase where we, I think, had our childhood development, like without like social media and like there was the Internet, but I don't think we were really yeah, we that weren't much. really like, doing that. Dude, my parents specifically like I didn't not I didn't have a phone until like a smartphone until I graduated high school. Like I had a tablet, but it's not like I, you know, that was just yeah, Wi-Fi. That I didn't either. I didn't have a smartphone until like fucking I don't know, I think like junior year yeah yeah so yeah like we really were like the last kind of because like literally the generation right um or not the generation the grade right below us they all got macbooks starting high school yeah they did they did man and like, like all of changed. Man. we were the last ones that's what i'm saying like 1999 like i don't know like yeah the last like you know and, and there's the like Panera. there's multiple problems with that like first of all you have like the stereotypical like ipad kid you know where like they're they're not getting parented by their parents they're getting parented by minecraft like yeah minecraft Steve. let's players and like youtube is scary like there's we've seen video essays about um you know um like those creepy, creepy four kids like animations. The like Spider Man gets Elsa pregnant and then oh, they die. Yeah, like yeah. horrible, like terrible videos that kids should not you be know, watching. Yeah, you know, there's kids that stumble upon that shit. Like, I mean, like honestly, like the internet was kind of like a thing when we were young. It was like, oh, you know, like look up, um, 
the fuck like what it was like two girls one cup or some shit like that and we we're like he 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 and then we watch it and we're scarred but like <laughs> you know like these people like it's just like pops into their feet and they're like oh yeah we oh. had to search out for oh. the fucked up shit yeah i really appreciate the unrestricted access to the internet i had growing up the unrestricted <laughs> ad- access to the internet that is currently happening to like the current generation it's kind of being so you know it, it's more like boomers. yeah and yeah we do just now sound like boomers but it's like there is like a little bit see but i think it's like we're it's like one of those things where it's like you just gotta like I don't know like I totally know like if I have kids I'm gonna put some parental blocks on like the fucking internet but then like I know like my kid is gonna fucking hate me like I hated my parents anytime Mm. they did something like that you just gotta do it right I don't know like I don't know maybe if like yeah my parents like actually like sat me down and explained like the reasons we are protecting you from seeing some crazy shit like yeah like i don't know trust us because like maybe it would have just like i don't know maybe maybe i don't know i don't know if i would have like been able to comprehend things but like if they just had been like hey like you know we're doing this because you know there's like some some really evil disgusting stuff on the internet and you know we want to keep you safe or something but that has to be from the beginning you can't give them access and then like take it away you know like because yeah, then they know what they're what they're um losing but also social media like especially there's been so many studies about how harmful like instagram for say yeah is i fucking for, like, believe that in like, particular like young females like yeah kid women because or like i guess kid, um girls because they're constantly seeing these like you know like unproportional or you know like unrealistic beauty standards or and dude um, not even the like beauty that. standards but like on how they're supposed to act too like oh, you yeah. see all sorts of celebrities like Andrew Tate you know yeah exactly telling they're, guys to um, borderline like I don't know do and some then nice like, stuff I don't know and then I don't want to like it because then pop culture is so weird too or like because it's like at one point you know like you're proud of these people for like I don't know, having the confidence to put their bodies on display but like where is the line between like you know like encouraging kind of the younger generation to like because then you get like you're encouraging like young you know specifically like girls yeah i know there's like a whole conversation about that on tiktok because yeah it's like the stereotypical like yes sex work is real work it is you know like yeah like but like like we maybe shouldn't be glamorizing it towards kids but then it's like oh well i'm just on tiktok this is you know kid my my content's not for kids it's like well kids use tiktok and it's like well maybe it's on the parents for like allowing a kid to just like oh yeah. dude it's that's actually like the more company for not YouTube. having a good control setup that's like accessible to parents and also the parents for not doing like anything i yeah. think yeah there's there there's definitely like blame all around honestly yeah. and like, dude absolutely like the the platform responsible for like you know disseminating that like definitely needs to not disseminate you know certain like andrew tate dude there's no fucking reason like why that kind of ideology like should have like blown up like that except for like the algorithm you know he just got sucked yeah. into a, like a feed loop and boom like the dude's like everyone like in the fucking u.s knows his name like yeah and he's a horrible person yeah and and i think the reason in particular he blew up is because of his like practically like pyramid scheme yeah where people got paid to post clips of him <laughs> on the internet <laughs> like, to, like he was just getting cash and publicity like yeah like it was it was the craziest thing ever you know i mean it's like on one hand like the man just exploited the system but like on the other hand like exploit know. the system and respect women if you're yeah. going to yeah exactly if you're going to exploit so, the system don't how be a about fucking that? sexist yeah homophobic and like, piece be, of shit yeah beyond it like he's like just like actually like preaching violence towards women yeah you know literally, like i mean it's, it is fucked and uh so yeah like i just yeah like that that is so dude that's impressionable other, on a kid yeah well I, yo i was literally just about to say that's a whole nother category of mental health is kind of like you know like the people who yeah like yeah like kids and um like women too because like, like the messages I guess, kids are exposed to if you get something like really fucked up in your head as a kid it's probably hard to get it out oh yeah, yeah. or like at the very least like i feel like everything like plant like plants a seed as a kid like mm-hmm. you may not know the ramifications of the shit happening in your childhood until 30 years later and then yeah. you're like oh, oh i did this because like you know xyz or like you know my parents are did this or you know whatever like you really and that's like the whole nature versus nurture thing you know like yeah a big part of it is is how you were raised because yeah like going back to all those serial killers not like um excusing what they did at all um you know you should know better to be evil or than to be evil but 
Like they were all like diddled as kids or yeah. like, I mean, dude, it's crazy. Like I always thought it was just like a small percentage of them. no, like an overwhelmingly amount, like an overwhelming amount of murderers, serial killers, rapists, like they got fucked up as a kid. Yeah. Like either like mentally, physically or both all of the above. That's like, why it makes it such a challenge for like, you know, to like overcome that shit as a kid and like make a clean, like solid impression for your, you know, your oh, kids. Yeah. Like it's dude. Yeah. It's not easy. Yeah. Dude, mental health problems, like, track through generations. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. And can't it even sometimes, like, hide, you know, like, skip a generation or, um, you know. And that's also the thing, kind of going back to, um, uh, like, what we were talking about at the very, very beginning when we were kind of talking about drugs and stuff like that. But you can be, like, predisposed to, uh, you know, having some certain like bad interaction. So say like, you know, say something like psychosis or something where you literally just like lose touch with reality. Well, you can be predisposed to that. And then like, if you just are consuming a bunch of like drugs, you know, in particular, you know, things like alcohol or you weed or it. stuff like that. Yeah. You could like, you can totally yeah. like, and you don't know you're a ticking time bomb. So it's like, you always want to like, you know, just, I don't know, make sure you're in a good place mentally. If you're not definitely like, you know, I think everyone should have a therapist if you can afford it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know right now. I, I don't think I necessarily need one. I think right everyone now. should but have a therapist. Like, yeah, like it's, it should be like an insurance. Like yeah. you have your doctor, you have your, um, you know, your mental doctor, you know, and stuff like that. You got your teeth doctor, your, uh, you know, all that stuff. Cause yeah. Um, and that's why I think like stuff like that better help could be useful because it maybe makes it more affordable yeah, and we're like and um, we're, accessible uh, exactly yeah yeah um but you know obviously everything has their own controversies and stuff like that but yeah i don't know i think this is a Here, you know i got a, I got a yeah, little yeah, question right quick yeah. i want y'all's um opinion but like if you could give like one statement on how to like get through like you know like um like you know whatever shit you're going through you know like well like how do you go oh, just like, like a good like yeah you know like how do you guys kind of like get over tip because yeah, if you want I can start with kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you so yours. like I just kind of view it like a roller coaster sometimes you go down sometimes you go up and you got to be cognizant of both downs and the ups because when you're up sometimes you don't realize that you're in a good spot yeah um, but when you're down you obviously realize that shit sucks so you just got to think back and be like yeah I was just at the top you know here we go yeah. just, you know so it's like a roller coaster and also like in order to get to those tops you got to like they'll, they'll be you bottoms. have to go down yeah. to go back up so yeah. that you got to appreciate you know like that's just physics yeah <laughs> like if you were happy 100% of the time are you actually yeah, happy yeah you would not anymore? be happy yeah yeah like dude that's what I discovered in Connecticut is that um you know I got comfortable and then I realized that comfort isn't happiness yeah mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'd say like the the advice I would give is always just like I promise it'll get better. Yeah. Like I promise a hundred and ten thousand percent. I you know I I know like you know you know I'll never know or a lot of people will never know like what you're going through. You know if, you know you're watching or listening. Um. You know no one you know but it like I, I promise it'll get it, better. Yeah. Like it it always does. Like. I don't know. It may take a really fucking long time. You may have a decade of like just awful work. shit. Like I'm not even going to. Yeah, exactly. Like we're just like mind numbing soul, soul wrenching work. But like I promise eventually it'll get better or you will find ways like you will get used to, you know, like if you start a new job and it's awful, you'll probably get used to it. You yeah, know, it's like temporary. Yeah. And you'll find a way to cope. Maybe you get a cat and like now, like your life is just amazing now. Cause you have a cat. I've, I've heard pets are really good for mental health. As yeah. long as you can like actually take care of them. You know, I think like uh, homeless people, I think there's like a lot of programs that give like homeless people dogs yeah. and stuff like that because like now they have something to take care of, take care of. And it's fucking cute. Yeah. So it'll always get better. So I don't, I don't know. That'd be the biggest thing I'd say. What about you? And, okay. Red said what I was going to say. Then you said what I was going <laughs> to say. So I feel like we talk a lot in general, yeah. like, you know, off camera. So um, on similar wavelengths. Yeah. I'd say definitely when going through something, just remembering that you won't always feel like how you feel right now kind of helps. Mm, yeah, absolutely. You yeah, know, it's like helped me anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, say you go through like a bad breakup or something and it seems like it's the end of the world. Like, just remember, like, man, like a certain amount of time from now, I'm going to be looking back at this and thinking this is the most stupid yeah. shit ever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this will not matter. Happens to the best of us. Yeah. Hmm. And also, like, you know, you are who you are because of all the past experiences. So you will you will you will fuck up and mess up and do all this stuff. But like, you know, like you are all your past mistakes and everything. So it kind of made makes you who you are, you know. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, that, that was that I know is like, you know, not as like silly and goofy as an episode, but it's sometimes nice to. 
um, you know, talk about real world shit. Plus, yeah. you know, we just have to keep it real. Yeah. yeah. A real, you know, when real world shit is kind of, you know, happening to us and stuff. And so, you know, we appreciate you guys listening and stuff like that. You know, for those of you guys, you know, listening and watching live uh, or any of you guys, uh, you know, listening to the audio platforms. I know we've been getting more people listening, which uh, we totally just made fun of you earlier this episode. <laughs> I apologize. That well, I do not great. actually mean that. Love, love the crowd. I, mean, I, I meant every keep word I said. Present. Um, I was thinking we end it with a smooch. Oh, another okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we've done that. We've done yeah. the past. So you know what? Because yeah, we, you, you got the audio loved. people earlier. You know. Yeah, like, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll give the audio people something something great here. So, right. um, all, you know, you you yeah yeah. So 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 those of you guys watching, appreciate it. You guys are all loved. Oh, I'm just breaking this breaking this right now. Uh, and okay, so on three, two, one.